of it, I'll take these two down. So I know for a fact what species they are. This is what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it looks like right now. Welcome back everyone, Joe here, hope everyone's doing well. I know it's been a while, more of that in a moment, but right now I got the goats out. I'm gonna take a red can of spray paint. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint some of these trees that I wanna take down. I'm keeping all the oaks, but the other ones that have a similar bark to the, oak, the, to the oak trees that I can't really tell when there's no leaves on it, those are the ones I'm gonna hit. Then we're gonna go get the Mahindra 1626, my, my tractor started up, I have the brush cutter on the back. We're gonna mow this bottom plot down here the last time of the season. Today is August 22nd. Right now it's 8.15 in the morning and it's currently like 56 degrees. It is absolutely beautiful out. It's, it's a little chilly, but uh, it's, it's, I love it. And it's going up to a high of like 75 today. It's not even gonna be even hot at all. So it's like perfect, perfect weather. In the next week or so, I'm gonna go down here and I have some food plot mix. I'm gonna go make, a, make my food plot down there. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any equipment to do that with. I don't have a tiller. I don't have a plow or a disc, so what I'm probably gonna do is just take the front of my tractor, kind of scrape up the ground, and then go behind it with a, a metal rake and just kind of rake that up. Or maybe I'll put my rake on the tractor and rake it up that way, get a good seed bed. But for now, the goats and I are gonna go up here, hit a few of these trees real quick, then we're gonna go get that tractor started up and start mowing down here. If you guys don't mind if you made it this far, if you can, if you can, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. My name is Joe, and I'd love to have you back. Thank you. So it can't get any easier than one little dot like that. As you guys see, that's some sort of tulip poplar or, or tulip something. I don't really know tree species that well. I'm still trying to learn. That I know is some sort of gum tree that you could see without even actually having to look up. Uh, that's a poplar tree right here, but that's not in our way because it's in this little crevasse or crevice or swell, whatever you guys want to call that. These little trees, I don't need a mark. I know we're coming here uh guys if you have any of these kind of trees will go up like that and curve there's a bunch of them there's that one there's that one i've looked it up it's supposedly some sort of like native american indian trail thing or a trail marker these are big old trees there's one behind it if you follow it straight down there's another one back there there's another one by the creek across the creek and down the property line and it runs all the way that way on the property line so not really sure this is what uh, my dad, my Uncle John, Harry, and I cleared this out. Still clearing it out, but I still gotta drop a lot of trees in here. can't really see up so I'll leave them for this coming here but I'll take these two down because I know for a fact what species they are but it's a bumper crop of acorns we're gonna most likely 1000% have a ground blind or one of these trees are gonna have a, uh, a stand in them look at the size of that acorn Look at that in my hand. That's dead.
I don't even know if that's in the ground, to be honest. It looks like it's barely hanging in there. Should have started from the top up. It's top down, rather. Now, I could girdle some of these trees and leave them as girdle trees up here, but I don't really think I want to do that. I'm going to try my hardest to remove them, get them out of the way totally, and have this as another, I won't say pasture, but at least it'll be cleared, another clearing, and plant some sort of tree species up here. I, I would love, since this is a south facing hill, this one that we're on right now, I'd love to stack a bunch of apple trees in here. That's like my goal. But right now I haven't had too much luck with the apple trees. Looks like my two apple trees that are down there out of three are, uh, are dying. So my chestnut trees have been doing great. I got four chestnut trees that are down here in cages that are just doing incredible. On along this hillside, I'm going to leave it. That one's dead. We're going to leave that one. Not going to mess with it. But from what I gather, it holds the hillside in. I did this tree already. Not to bore you guys with the trees, but like this is a perfect example. I thought this was a white oak, but it's definitely not. It's some sort of beech tree. It definitely doesn't have oak leaves, so this one will be coming down. That's why I'm doing this at this time of the year, because that one tricked me. This is the top food plot that uh, Harry, Uncle John, my dad and I did last year. We spent a few weeks up here clearing this out and it looks so good up here. But there's still again some species of trees like this one. I thought this was an oak or an oak species because of the bark. 100% wrong about that. So this will be coming down. Here's an oak, that's an oak. That is not, that one's coming down. So I'm just gonna go through here again and mark the ones like this is some sort of poplar, way too big for me to take down right here. That one, that one's gonna stay. No reason for me to really take it down. And then on the other side of this hill, it dips down. All those trees up there in the canopy that you can see, I'm gonna girdle a bunch of those trees back there in the winter time. And then that way, when the sun peaks in the morning time, it comes from this direction. It'll be nice and open down there for these bigger oak trees to kind of soak in as much sun as possible and have next to no competition on the other side of that hill. So something like this tree right here is, it is, it's, it's on the edge of my skill set. So I'm probably just gonna girdle this tree right here. I'll girdle these two or three right here that are not oaks. And then I'll just let them kind of die out that way. And then eventually they'll fall down and be out of our way and then i'll just move them once they're nice and dry uh just because this is you guys may not see it but it's pretty steep from from here to down there that's probably easily out from where i'm standing a 20 feet elevation change from wh where my arm is straight up like i'm level right now and then looking down there the ground over here because this whole area i want it to be one giant clover plot that has beautiful massive oak trees that are pumping out some really nice oaks and if you guys don't know what girdling a tree will do, but this isn't girdled, this is dead, but that will end up happening to the tree. It'll just be ending, just be a standing dead tree. That's all that will happen right there. So guys, I've been asked a few times, where have we been? Why so long in between videos? Is everything okay? Yeah, guys, everything's fine. Thank you so much for truly asking and reaching out and caring. It means, it truly does mean a lot. Uh, I was in CDL school, like most of you do know, for those who are new. Uh, I was in CDL school for all the whole month of June. So the whole month of June, I was out there driving, getting my CDL. Uh, I have my CDL, no restrictions. I went out and got my hazmat endorsement, my tanker endorsement. I went and got a Twit card and another clearance for hazmat. I don't know what it is. I think it's just a hazmat clearance. And uh, I have no restrictions other than my glasses. I'm able to drive manual, which is really cool. Best driving school is really great. I paid for it, so I'm going to give them a shout out. I mean, they didn't even give me anything here. Um, outside of that, we came back July, Monique and I did some little day trips here and there since she was out of school. Monique is my wife, for those who don't know, she's in an, an, uh, an, she's in an advanced, if I can get my lips and tongue to work, she's in an advanced nursing program. 
so she only gets little gaps off throughout the year back in it and between working and the school she's quite busy so uh there was times where we, if we got some time between the both of us to be together and hang out and go away that's what we did like last week we were in florida we took alex we were at uh orlando we had so much fun in orlando it was Honestly, the three of us, it was just, it was, it was just a blast and it was nice to get away. My glasses are fogging up. Outside of that, it's been so hot to be down here that uh, it's been kind of unmotivating to be down here. I should be back to my Thursday, Sunday uploads and going into hunting season probably one day extra after that. Now, for those of you who don't know to get you caught up, this was supposed to be my wood yard area. I cleared it out with Alex. As you see, I think this is a Japanese weed that's all in here uh, it's kind of taken over I'm gonna go ahead and wait until the season's over now let it die down a Japanese stilt grass I believe it's called and then going forward I'm gonna spray this area down here with vinegar salt and dish soap to kind of just get it so nothing keeps growing here I would like to get rock put down and really start splitting wood and making this the area because this road should be done within the next few weeks. I know I keep saying that, but we had storm after storm that would wash this area out. And it turns out the pipe we thought was gonna be good would have been fine, but that last hurricane that came through here, that pipe, that whole road would have probably been washed out with that pipe. So we're gonna to have to get a much bigger pipe. So my parents went ahead and ordered that pipe and uh, waiting on that and then get everything settled up and uh, set with who's gonna do it and get that done here. But really that's what's been going on thanks for everyone who's still watching still commenting um we're gonna get back to it with with making a lot more videos i, I do enjoy it and like i said guys it wasn't anything other than i really something i always wanted to do was get my cdl license my class a i got it it's a goal that i set and i went now when i turn 40 i got three years i'm gonna start studying up i want to get my pilot's license i want to go for a fixed wing and rotary i believe the helicopters are called whatever helicopters i know road i know fixed wing is your your plane and I could do uh, two and one. So I want to end up doing that for my 40th birthday. That's going to be my gift to myself. So uh, really, that's that's about it. But uh, we'll go from there. I mean, I always jokingly say to Alex, oh, yeah, we're going to take a helicopter to school. We're not doing that. But I'm going to go ahead and start marking some more of these trees here. And then um, really, I'll probably have to come down here, too, with the tractor, get this all down to the ground in here, because I don't think anything eats this Japanese silt grass. And from what I understand from Mike Morgan, if you get it before it seeds out, you should be pretty good. But uh, again, from it, it, it's here, so it's gonna constantly come in. So I'm just gonna have to really hit it. I don't wanna use heavy chemicals like glyphosate 2,4-D because of the goats and because of the animals, you know, the deer and everything else that's in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just spray it. I'll end up doing it. I'll have to make it into something where I come in here once a week and I really just hit it heavy with that vinegar salt and soap mixture. But yeah guys, that's it. I'm gonna get that tractor started up. I do have a GoFundMe link to this this video and two others and it was on my community tab. Uh, Monique helped me write it. She's super good at writing stuff. Our friend and family, he's, he was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I think it's, it's a type of pancreatic, if not pancreatic cancer. Please don't quote me on any of this. I'm, I'm not a doctor by any means. I know it's in the pancreas or, so there will be a GoFundMe down there. His name is Austin, his wife's name is Ashley. Going through this whole thing, uh, Ashley's been nine months pregnant, going through doctor's appointments, like their whole lives are turned upside down like I'm sure everyone else who, who gets diagnosed with such terrible news. So if you guys can, at the minimum, just share please on your social medias uh that gofundme link that will be on the bottom there uh it'll be right in the description it's going to say what the title of this video is and then there'll be the gofundme link and uh greatly appreciate it guys it, it would be it would be tremendous honor if you guys could do that and we'd greatly appreciate it i'm just going to spray a few of these trees and i'm going to go get that tractor started up guys okay, so we're going to do a cold start on this 100 1626 at least the coldest it's been all year so far let that battery kind of do its thing. I'm probably going to cycle it twice. I have a regular off-road diesel and then I have a uh, diesel additive inside the tank just to help out. I'm not really sure. It's the first time I've ever owned a tractor and like I've said several times before, I'm the only one in my family that's ever owned a tractor. So uh, I'm kind of learning as I go. But uh, yeah, we're going to get it key cycled. The battery, I'm going to shut it off. 
Cycle it one more time, let that glow plug cycle. That's what I'm doing right now, for those of you who don't know.
Now you guys might be wondering why I'm keeping all this so long, all this grass so tall along the edge. There's a creek on the other side, so we dumped all these logs that we cleared out from this property on the edge to help with the erosion problem. Also, I'm using this as a screen because that's another 20 acre farm on that side that uh, I believe is abandoned. I can't get in touch with no one on it. And um, well, the deer cross from that side in two different areas. So I'm trying to block off the areas that they can and go from the easiest areas that we would know that they were coming from. I'm over here, I took the cage off this uh, apple tree here. It looks like from here down it's dead, but we got one shoot that's doing pretty well. So I took this cage off it. Maybe let's see if we could uh, kind of rehab it out. But as I'm doing that, I'm going pretty easy because I don't really like bugs. Many of you guys know this. Look at this guy. So cool and yet so ugly at the same time. So I'm gonna go put this cage back on this one. I got uh, one chestnut tree left here. I got a few more lines to go up and down as we go. I'm gonna try to expose these logs right here, try to clean up this rest of this mess here. But most of this is, it's coming along. It's been about three hours, but uh, I'm really going super slow. I'm not trying to hit anything too. I got a bunch of stumps in the ground. I'm not trying to hit. I'm just trying to really mow as we go. I'm not trying to mow up any kind of uh, turtles either. So I got this set pretty high up off the ground. Like the blades are a lot higher than what it looks. But we're cutting probably probably about three to five inches high off the ground if not higher but um yeah that's really about it i'll bring you guys in if anything cool comes in again like that uh praying mantis there i'm gonna try to just get it on the weed whacker and get it over there somehow other than that it's pretty much going smooth the goats are enjoying it uh the sun's coming in perfect it's not a hot day like i said earlier this morning and i'm just really hoping i could get this uh this apple tree kind of rehabbed a little bit because uh it'd be sad if that one goes i got that one looking good that one's doing okay but this is the worst out of the three what can you do you win some you lose some with these i guess
So I really took my time on this pasture down here. I usually come down here with the lawnmower and cut some lanes. I'm gonna do that again within the next few days, cut some travel lanes like you guys could probably see. I don't know if I'll pick it up. This is one of them. Uh, there's another one along the back, one in the middle right over here. I'll take a quick walk and show you what I mean. Like this is a lot shorter than what the brush cart is cutting it, as you guys can see here. This is another road lane, whatever you wanna kind of call it. I see the little clover, it's coming in pretty good. There's another one that goes right down there, and then that's the third one right there. It runs along here. Just trying to make it so that if any of us want to ride the quad and or the UTV, whatever it is, that's the main path to go on. It came out really nice. I mean, again, it's the end of August, and if I leave the camera in one spot long enough, you'll start to really see these leaves dropping, which is great. It just kind of brings us to... Uh, fall i love all the seasons i really love the change in the seasons going from one to the other that is my favorite i'm not a huge fan of summer but it's just it is what it is i you know I'll, I'll deal with it but as you guys see here everything's cut uh you guys saw on the back of the tractor it turns out i broke i believe that's called the stabilizer arm uh so i'm gonna have to go up to uh, one of the stores here or maybe i'll just go to the dealer and pick one up at the dealer i'll show you what i'm talking about here So this is the brush cutter. This is what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it looks like right now. So I'm not really upset and or angry. From what I gather, when you have machines, they're gonna break or break down, especially when you're new with it. Like this is my first machine. I don't really go hard on it. I don't really do too many things to try to ruin it or really work it too much or what I think would be working it too much. But things are gonna break, you know, eventually it's gonna break. So here it is, down, right there. So I'll take that piece off. I'm gonna drive this up top to my parents' houses, park it underneath the, uh, the shed. There's no shed up there. I'm gonna park it underneath the deck because when it rains and stuff, this doesn't get too wet from underneath the deck, which is a really cool thing. I was able to weed whack the stuff for all the weeds and tall grasses around the cages. Here's one of the chestnut trees. This is a four-year-old tree. Um, it's getting eaten a little bit by those June bugs, beetles, whatever they're, they are. But it's doing pretty good. I'm sure next year I may get I may get one chestnut off of it. There's another one there. There's an apple, 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 and there's a chestnut tucked away too. So outside of that guys if you made it this far if you don't mind if you can truly hit that like button it really helps out like i said earlier if you're not subscribed again my name is joe i'd love to have you back i'm down here just trying to learn how to use equipment uh, i really like taking down trees I, I love being outside so uh you know this is this was nothing compared to what it looked like when we where parents first got the property it was more like all of this in here a lot thicker and we were able just with uh some time and some work we were able to clear it out and get it looking like this so it's truly, truly a uh, night and day situation. So again, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoy. And thank you so much if you guys are able to share that uh, GoFundMe. Thanks again. Bye.